here you are, here I am. I have a quart of cold brew coffee in my hand, ready to do a challenge. I'm just reading this thing. There are two grams of carbohydrates per serving in this. It's all brain food. I'm going to need it. Beer turbocharged for our daily challenge. This feels like it's. Hello. We have a little shrine here, folks. I wonder if it's like a thing in. Uh, Thailand, whenever there's a bridge they have to have on the side of a hill, a picture of I'm assuming that's the king and then random general? I, I, I don't know. I'll just say we're here. Um, But yeah, how we doing? It is the middle of your week. It comes up quick. Yeah. How we doing? Let me take a sip of my coffee. Ah. Not much new to report here. Just a waiting game. I did actually get some information today. Uh, for the longest time, um, it was available. I just wasn't able to find it. The site that I am currently... In Q4, we'll say, well, I, I've, I've purchased a video card and I'm just on a waiting list now for it. We're near a lake. A sore lake? Is this... I'm going to look for a sore lake, but I don't think I'm going to find it. Um, but the website that I've purchased, a spot in line to be able to buy a uh, graphics card. Uh, one of the things they've always given you the option for was a, here's a Q, basically. Um, when you bought it, you're waiting in line behind everyone else. Um, apparently, a friend of mine, I mentioned this before, he bought his video card, graphics card. I'm going to always call it a video card because that's just how my brain is wired. He finally got his after a couple of months of waiting. And I get constant emails from them talking about, hey, the we're updating the queue, all this other stuff. And I kept wondering where the hell it is because I'd go to my account, I'd look at all the buttons they had available there uh, without ever, ever, ever considering actually going to the front page of the site itself. And there was a button there to actually have the, that showed where the queue is. So I put my thing in line and I finally found out a general estimate as to where I am. And I have a very long time to go because the, they give you the number, like when you put in your, uh, oh, we were very much up north. When you put in your, uh, well, there, yeah, there was no way I was going to uh, find this one. Because um, you, you put in your number and then they're like, okay, here's the number you are online. Here is the uh date at which the person who like the first person in line when they actually uh ordered there so i'm 77th in line and the person who is first in line ordered theirs in december so i have quite a long time to go Lag proud tourling. This looks like the oh well the horse isn't like reared up. I was gonna say it looks like the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, whatever that one was called. I know it's not this because we are somewhere in the Alps. The Bunder Wandering Wedgie. So we're down here, somewhere in these places. I'll probably say Switzerland because I need to pick a place and that's the one I'm going with. 
but other than that, there's there's nothing else new. Um, I want to hike. I can't hike mainly because the uh, we're in that time period. Ooh, this is pretty. We're in the time period now of the thaw, and it's not really all that smart to hike when it's thawing because it's going to erode and you don't want to do that and it's going to cause trails to erode so you just kind of wait it out and I'm doing some other flat ground trails that aren't what the hell is this thing I've never seen that it's a weird looking seesaw teeter totter whatever you want to call it so I'm just doing trails that aren't really on mountains that are flat but I was actually able to find an article that was written a few days ago that uh, lists, like, do you like hiking mountains? Here's things you can go do while the uh, thaw is happening. And I was like, this is perfect. I'm going to totally do this while I wait for... See, I almost wish I had, like, a place like this to go hiking because... This is cool. These are the type of trails that I'm talking about. Like, there's, it, you're not going up a mountain. It's just around a thing, a scenic thing, and you walk around it. It's a nice trail. It's pretty compact gravel. These views are amazing. Uh, so I'm going to be doing that for the couple of months. I don't know exactly when the uh, grace period ends. I think it's sometime maybe the end of middle of May, I think, and that's probably around the time I'm going to try again to hike that goddamn mountain I can't hike. Because it's always too crowded. So I think if I go in the middle of the week, it might actually be a smarter time to go. So, technically my... Oh, sorry. Oh, God. It was just a stretch that needed to happen. My May is packed out. And by packed out, I've only got like <laughs> two things. I gotta get my second vaccination shot uh, right in the middle of the month. The um, funny thing is, like, I was reading over the weekend that apparently the Johnson & Johnson, which is the one I originally signed up for, is now been okayed in my state to use again. But I've already, you know, gotten the one. Other shots, there is no point in me. La Union. Isn't that like one of these? One of these ones. Um, I was just a little annoyed because I'd rather have gotten that one, but hey, I'm getting a shot. Some people can't get them. I understand. I think I've finally broken the grip the revolution that podcast the revolutions podcast i was listening to um mainly just because i've really like listening to music it's a it's a thing that apparently i've missed way more than i thought i thought i would and with podcasts in general when i listen to them i have to listen to them all i can't really skip any and i got kind of to this breaking point finally with it where I was just like yes I need to listen to this but I can't not so I've done the most irrational thing and I've just stopped listening to that Revolutions podcast uh, it was right in the beginning of actually in the South America they were talking about with uh, Simone Bolivar and the independence declared the first time, apparently, in Venezuela. I'm going to say we're down here in, like, Bolivia, but I really, it really could be anywhere up here. And I've done the next best thing for these is, okay, I'm not going to listen to the podcast. I'm just going to go ahead and start reading about it, which leads into the other uh, topic. Yesterday, I know I was, one of the things I wanted to do this year was start reading some different, like, types of books, because I was reading The Witcher Forever, and I was kind of set 
with that style of book, like fantasy fiction, whatever you want to call it. And I wanted to try some other stuff. And the one thing I wanted to try was like some philosophy books. And having never really read any and having no idea where it actually started, I just Googled, well, I like Russian history, so let's just look at basic uh, Russian philosophy books. And the one that was suggested most was, I think it was called like the Russian idea or something like that. I forget exactly. So I bought a copy of the book, tried reading it last night, and just the vagueness of the writing style. It's, it's, it's more of like how it's written. And my brain was just like, I, I hate this. <laughs> like, I'm not saying it's a, it's a bad book. My brain was not a fan of how it was written and the, what it was talking about. And I, I, I gave it a, probably about a fourth of the book I read. And my brain was just like, all right, you're done. Couldn't handle any more. Gave it a shot. And I think maybe not all like philosophy books are bad. My brain just won't work listening, reading them. This one, I just can't. So I've gone to, where are we in Mexico? Um, I think we just crossed over into the border in Mexico, maybe. This feels like we're crossing a border. I don't know what, what country. Maybe we'll do Guatemala. Maybe it's Belize. But this seems to, uh, there's really no border crossing at this place. What it, it should say like another potential like country we're going into. So maybe this isn't so much a uh border, maybe it's a province. It's it's conservation on Coreta. So maybe we're maybe we're actually not there. We're not changing over to another state. So maybe we're up here. I'll just put us there. We'll see if I'm right or not. So yeah, I went and bought a book. It's apparently it's called The Concise History of Spanish. The Concise History of Spain or Spanish History conc Conciseness, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just looking to read and find out about histories of countries and regions that I never really learned about in school. That stuff's interesting to me. Okay, we were a little farther north. That's fine. I'll take that. I need a sip of coffee. Give me a sec. I got to check something else, too. All right, sorry. Closing the lid on my coffee. What route are we in? Final one. Okay. This is a cool place. It's a lot of bridges. Is this a viso? Is this actually Spain? I don't know. I'd like to visit this place. This place looks cool. Ponte Luzi. Is this like Spain or is this a Riviera? So is this Portugal PT? It is. Uh, are we in Lisbon? This place is really cool. There's a lot of bridges. I'm not seeing many bridges over this little area here. Could it be maybe it's Porto? I need many roads over. I'm not seeing many. Is it the? It doesn't look like the Boca River. Um, maybe it's Porto. Like here, maybe. I'll just click here and see if it's right. Uh, there's a lot of mountains and whatnot here. This place is really cool. Pontaluzi. Where else could this be if it's not here? Um, not there. 
Hmm. It doesn't... It's too wide to be that. Too wide to be that. Could it be that? No. Maybe we're actually, like, in the country a bit more. Doesn't, doesn't seem it. Hmm. Anyway, I, wanna, I just, I just want to see what this place looks like. Cause, oh, yeah, we got that underground washout. This is cool. Uh, we are Porto Vivo. So maybe we are in Porto. I don't know if I'm going to see any tunnels or anything here. Uh, Ponta Luis, I think that's actually it, isn't it? Let me, let me hit home. Let's say Ponto Luis. Luzi. Oh, we were on the other side. That's cool. This place is pretty, uh, pretty neat. I'm a big fan. Almost nailed it. Although, that one kind of screwed us a bit, but what are you going to do? Uh, yeah. Sorry again, this one's going to be a bit quick for your Wednesday. Apologies. It just happens sometimes. It's not always going to be like this, but it's just kind of how it's been the past couple of weeks. Saying it that way makes it seem like, yeah, it, it seems to be the norm, but I, I'm, I'm telling you it is not. Just right now, that's how it's working. Enough of the explanations, anyway. That's going to do it for your Wednesday. Thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, tips, hints, suggestions, anything and everything, go ahead and read, read them. Go ahead and type them down below. I will read them and get back to you. Go check out the cooking thing. I made an apple cake. It's that exciting. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching. I will see you very soon. Goodbye.